following podcast may contain spoilers, graphic language, violence, and nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. Sharks, Sharks, Star Trek The Next Generation. Do I you ignorance a lot? Four guys and a movie. Four guys and a movie. Don't I Brian and Rob and Joe reviewing movies for the show. Four guys and a movie. Hey everybody, welcome back to the yeah, to the Four Guys in a Movie podcast. Where friends gather to watch movies from the past and talk about them. Big ass shark. Big ass shark. Here's another. Big ass shark. Eats that shark. Fat guy dies. Old guy dies. His daughter's only 10 years younger than him. Jason Statham bangs the daughter. Eventually, but we don't get to see it on screen. Implied. Because it's PG-13. Implied banging. Hey! Welcome back to our podcast. Sleep interlude. We watch the Meg. My name's Rob. Going around the table. I mean, honestly, that's that's the best synopsis we're going to do with the film. That sums it up. Yeah. So I'm Tony. The Will. And I am the Will. Joe. <laughs> You're not sure. <clears throat> so this was the Meg. Um Tony. Yeah. What about the Meg? What are we doing anymore? <laughs> uh so the Meg came out in two thousand eighteen. It was rated PG thirteen because people are friggin' stupid. Um yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I don't really have a whole lot of info on this. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Who cares? Lots been going on, and I just couldn't care enough at the moment. Uh, <laughs> just, totally fair. Anyone want to guess the budget this movie had? Oh, man. Is that in uh, Chinese money? Yen? Yeah, I'm pretty uh, sure this was made in Yen. It was laundered yeah. through there. <laughs> um, What is the name of Chinese currency? Yen. Isn't that Japanese currency? Oh, maybe. <laughs> We are all ignorant sluts. Yeah. I, I well, I mean, I know that when I pay Amazon Japan, I'm paying in yen. Yeah. Amazon Japan. Yeah. Hmm. That's where you get all the Japan's best transformers. On? Whoa. Um, eighty million. Uh, this. That CGI did not look good. Um, like seventy million. It didn't look good, which is why I'm going with a hundred and twenty million. <laughs> Close enough, Rob is a hundred and thirty million. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I knew like the the the, the, the badness, badness of the CGI is proportional to the amount that's paid for it these days. Like I I just knew it. I felt it in my bones. You yeah, wanna guess at what it made? Not that. It probably made a ton well, of Wait, in China. no, it probably did make a, a lot of money in China. Are we counting China? Maybe. We're counting worldwide total? Worldwide. I'm well, this was I'm pretty sure this was made to be released in china mm -hmm. yeah 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 yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> we might as well count its primary customer that's fair i'm gonna say 250 total worldwide gross yeah it has it has a sequel what well, yeah there's a meg too Wait. um i don't know it's an imdb no uh it might be direct to video it's probably direct to video i'll say 200 million yeah i'll go 300 i don't know i'll go high good idea this is 530 million. <coughs> Damn. No the wonder only, there was a sequel. The only thing I could say is just maybe this was an original idea in China. No, because it's based on a novel. It says in the credits. Yeah. I, I think he so means... a lot of things. I think he more means like... In Chinese in chi cinema. Yeah, Chinese moviegoers, this was actually an original movie to them. And uh, not just and, played out shit. Like yeah. Was but they've seen Jaws. I mean, they only get ten, well, some of them. They get have, like ten but... movies a year from America. Yeah, yeah. Well, eight now that they cut out Disney. But <laughs> nope, nope. My apologies. <clears throat> What's that? Meg to the trench, not yet made with Jason Statham and everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> trench. trench. Is that about him banging that? <laughs> Leave Bing Bing. <laughs> Bing Bing. Uh, I didn't see her on the cast list, so maybe not. Oh, I bet they're broken up oh. now. Oh, it's gonna be like uh, Pacific Rim Two, where it's just mysteriously dead. <laughs> <laughs> the Meg Eager. Mysteriously didn't want to come back. <laughs> yeah. Or mysteriously, Man. China didn't fund this one. Aquaman's so, in this one. Sure. Does any of us even have a history with this movie? Because I honestly, until we rolled it, I didn't know this existed. I've seen it before. One time. 
did not pay attention. I didn't remember anything that happened other than Tony. Tony, Tony's seen it, but I mean, like, in like, theaters. I may have seen this in the theater. Oh, yeah. No, wait. To clarify, when we started doing this podcast, I believe it was then. Uh, I used to have a tradition of going to the movies to see a movie beforehand. Just timing worked out and whatever. Uh, so I saw a lot of crap sometimes just to fill the time. I believe this was one of those. Hmm. I'm not proud of it. Mm-hmm. That's disappointing. You're owning it, though. You're owning Speaking your story. Speaking of disappointing, I've got these. <laughs> Minion Cake Bites. Now, is Cake Bites a brand? I don't know. Yes, <laughs> it says Cake Bites on the top. These were gifted to us by my lovely wife. <clears throat> they are not banana flavored, which is what I feared when I initially mm. saw the Minions logo. They're just vanilla. Looks sick. But they will turn your poop colors, I'm sure. So, hmm. I'm going to pass these around the table. That's not a very, like... You shut up. Appetizing blue, yellow, and the rest. I gave a shit about your opinion, Joe. I just imagine you hand that to Joe, and he just hands it to Will, who hands it to me, and you just get the box back. I mean, that was going to be my first play. Yeah, Yeah, I'm not... Yo, that was at least going to buy me (laughs) ten seconds till he had to be another one. I mean... Joe oh, already knows too the much. rules. These get thrown at you, it's and you take much. what you're given. Ooh, they're... Oh, wait, that worked. They're big. Yeah. That means you get the last one. Wait, how does that work? Why are there only four? There's only four, four. in here? Well, they're big. Wow. I don't want it. Well, yeah. Will, we don't get to talk <laughs> about the movie until well, you eat it. Yeah. So. Will okay. ate an you entire know. healthful pizza today, so... <laughs> But and you know some, full well, when right. you come here, there's going to be terrible movies oh, in your face and a little terrible right? snacks in your yeah. mouth. So Is it pre-cut? I don't like the unnecessary packaging, but I like that it is pre-cut. Oh, it's not that pieces. big. Okay. It's kind of oh, tiny, wow. actually. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. But it already appears to have, like, broken apart and been glued back together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it looks the, so... Yeah. That blue color just looks so gross. Yeah, it's so unnatural. It blew Go, itself. Going by the package oh, size, it I, too. I thought it was going to be more oh, of a God. Brian, but it's really more of a me, so this is okay. Mm. <laughs> I can do this. No. No, it's, it's bad. Yeah, it's not good. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> it's too It's too artificial. <laughs> yeah. Can I get a box? It's like... <laughs> It's, like it's cancerous. Just, oh, cancerous. <laughs> Guys, the box. Huh? Guys, the box. Yeah. Tony's crying. It. Tony wants to I... see if cancer is actually in the ecosystem. <laughs> 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 I know, honestly. We're God, all going to get sick. I want to make sure that the frosting is not actually Play Doh. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's not good. Thank you, honey. Oh, man. That was tough. Like, I kind of had to gnaw on it to get through it. Like, yeah, it was too much. Don't directly bite it with your incisors. Like, you gotta, you gotta use the molars. It was icing. kind of, if I had to describe it, Play Doh. Well, um, nah, it's so. It's, I can only read the first three ingredients, if that's any indication. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's a bit like if you, um, if, if you just took a cosmic brownie and just like, if Banicula sucked all the flavor out of it. Mm, it's... You just had the remnants. It made the frosting, like, worse. <laughs> yeah. It's like, if you took how I feel about myself and made it into a food. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ahead. something they eat on Star Trek. Seek He's deleting it. Seek help. <laughs> <laughs> what, you ignorant slut? Yeah, I don't think anybody... Uh-huh. Will didn't even make it halfway through his first third. Oh, I didn't... No, I ate oh, my I third. Oh, I thought everybody ate theirs. I, was... <laughs> no, no. I mean, I, I ate, ate my I first ate my third. third. Yeah. yeah, okay. I'm not touching it anymore. No. It's... And I hate to waste food, but... But it's not food. It's so not yeah, food. It's... <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can leave that outside and no animal is going to take it. <laughs> no. And we come back two years later and it's still exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. In fact, if I'm you're worried about raccoons in your garbage, pretty sure you line this around them. <laughs> right. Pretty sure you could caulk your toilet with that. <laughs> Before I ram this into my face, right. what are we holding here, Rob? Uh, now we have Oreo Cakesters. Uh, we still have not done the gauntlet of Oreo cookies that we've had that I've now had for months at this point. But that's okay because we have Oreo Cakesters. These are also individually packed. Um, but they're like cake with Oreo filling. Slightly less uh, 
Disturbing. Useless packaging. Oh, way less disturbing, but mm-hmm. slightly less <laughs> useless packaging. Yeah, I'm not better. It's fine. It's like I mean, a soft Oreo. I don't think I would buy one of these, no. but they're not bad. They're not bad. Um, yeah, it's a whoopie bit, pie. They're a bit more oh. like, um, it is like a whoopie pie. You're actually, like a devil exactly dog. Right. It, yeah, like a Drake's sort of cake where it's a little dry. It's just still more moist than a devil dog. <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so who's in this movie? The Meg's anus is more moist than a devil dog. <laughs> well, I mean, it's underwater, so yeah, it would yeah, be really moist. All right, so... <laughs> Dummy cast we got in this movie, uh, Jason Statham stars as the Meg Zanus, um, or Jonas Taylor. Uh, oh, same thing. I'm not making this up. Oh, Bing no, Bing no. Lee. Did, did you just say Jonas Sian. Tail? Uh, Jonas Taylor. Okay. We got Bing Bing Lee as Suyin, Rain Wilson as Morris, Cliff Curtis as Mac, uh, Winston Chow as Zhang, and Ruby Rose as Jax. What about the wall? The Wall and DJ. Uh, Olafur Dari Olafsson. <laughs> has, yes. has anyone seen Eurovision? Is that the Yaya Ding Dong guy? I don't remember. I bet so. Because I know his name's... I know he's an Olaf Olafsson, but I don't know if he's uh, Olaf Fur. Uh, I'm not seeing it. I don't care enough to look up. Yeah, yeah. no. But anyway. I'm doing other things now. <laughs> like calling your doctor to schedule a, a full body scan after mm. that minions cake. Yes. <laughs> well, it's a colonoscopy. He, yeah, he's not sure if that's going to make it all the way through <laughs> the digestive tract. <laughs> can you can you schedule an MRI? <laughs> I, I ate a cake bites minion. So there's literally they literally just named this guy Jonah. Jonas, but yeah, yeah. Jonas yes. Taylor. So it's like Jonah's tail. Yes, mm-hmm. basically. Yes. Yeah. Her. So dumb. Mm-hmm. Um, dumb or clever? Well, dumb. mischievous or <laughs> you also had whatever. DJ the Wall and Ruby Rose was like hack slash or something. What? Jax. 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 Oh, so yeah, the yeah. one that rips your arms. So it's off. like a Mortal Kombat or Jack into a computer. Like yep. this is not <laughs> high level <laughs> shit here, guys. Mm-hmm. Yes, I forgot how much hacking she did in this. She did. She did some hacking. She hacked. Mm-hmm. She was a hack. <laughs> God, I feel like the thing is lodged in my chest. No, but after, yeah. <laughs> and you, you only eat like maybe a. But I had so much it. food before you, you came. Yeah. So much cheese today. I'm gonna fucking throw yeah, up. Right. I want to be fair to those cakes. We need to tell a little story here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this will go in the fat check court. <laughs> yeah, he is. I mean, I plead he's, guilty. He's gonna come out the winner. I think. I plead guilty. I think he entered Fat Chat yeah. Battle Arena. He, he came, so we both worked this morning. He came to me. He said, <laughs> "Rob, I think, I think I want to get something a little healthier. I'm, I'm not, I'm not thinking any heavy food today. I think I'm just gonna get a salad." Mm-hmm. Half hour later, he's like, I'm "Thinking Domino's." <laughs> 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 And I'm like, uh, that doesn't count as a salad. And he said, if so, if I get a vegetable pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right. <laughs> that has all the ingredients of a salad. Sure, it does. Just, just not in the proportions <laughs> I mean, you know, of a salad. It's, it's crouton first. Yeah. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. Second. Um, He's entered the stage of bargaining. With so, what kind of pizza did you end up getting? Uh, spinach, onion, and bacon. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Thin crust. Yeah. And what else? Oh, whoa! Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> Thin crust. We're good. Thin crust. Yeah. Low carb. Low but carb. But what else? <laughs> Cheesy bread. Cheesy bread. <laughs> and what else? The lava cake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel it. I feel so bad. So uh, that was the light meal that Will that was, was the looking light meal, for. Yeah. He was like, I pigged out so much on my vacation. Yeah. And to top it all off, you gave him a uranium cake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nibbler shat it out this yeah. morning. <laughs> Can I just say, just, I uh, haven't looked at all the photos of your uh, vacation, but I saw one picture of this guy making ten poor dogs pull him on a sled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, They were happy. As he's fucking loading up on all the carbohydrates. <laughs> yeah, they were happy to see their maker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They loved it. How many of them survived the trip, Will? They did have to take one away. I think they were trading them out. They yeah. had to trade them out. Yeah. 
<laughs> Will was like, oh, is that the whip cracking? Oh, no, no, the dog's heart just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Only two of them shattered the spine this time. <laughs> So literally, my first note for this movie is literally, fuck and shit, this movie is two hours long. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. it feels like it. Yeah. Like, okay, there's no reason this movie no. should not be more than 90 minutes. No. Um, and, it, like, I was, I was mad already. Now, mind you, I'm already mad that I have to watch a movie about a giant fucking shark. Yep. So I'm inevitably preparing my my arguments of like why the shark can't eat a nuclear sub or like, mm. you know, all these other things that like you usually see, like why I can't jump out of the water and snatch a helicopter or all these things that I'm assuming are just going to happen. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I would have rather had that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I mean, <clears throat> so yeah. I will defend that stuff only when we're talking like mythical creatures and Godzilla's mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. This case is just a megalodon. I expect it to to obey real world yeah situations, which honestly, it, it for the most part it does it. Yeah, there's it just some, doesn't lead to a very exciting movie. Yeah, there's Ram. some physics bending, but it's not on the megalodon. It's on everything because stuff <laughs> just works the way it works mm -hmm. when it's time for it to work. But it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't even like bend physics for exciting ways. Oh yeah, it's just dumb. well, it's just dumb. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, depends on how you're talking to my guess, but we'll get into that right. part later. So, <laughs> my only real nitpickiness I had to be about, like, about the nuclear sub that I knew was going to be in the movie somewhere was in the, the very first scene, uh, Jason Statham is doing a rescue operation on board one that is at the bottom of a, it was something like 10,000 meters or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just dead. Everyone on board's dead. The sub crushes like those those can't go a thousand meters let alone ten thousand like so that you know that i was like okay that's a little weird but other than that you what know if they're chinese funded if there's chinese they go straight to the bottom <laughs> they never come back up they just sink yeah oh uh -huh. so He's on board the sub. He's trying to like rescue some soldiers on there, some sailors on there, and um, some full of semen. Full of semen. Uh, he's got two guys with that are in a different part of the ship, and you're like, they're just dead. I mm -hmm. like they have names, but I'm like, I don't care. They're dead. They're red shirts. Yeah, <laughs> their names are not in long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and That's and racist. not in. <laughs> not <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, not in long are not long for this world because uh, they basically something starts banging against the hull, and um, Jason Statham's like, "We got to go," and uh, he gets back in the ship, and they're not back to the ship yet, but he's got to seal the hatch, and this one guy on the ship is like, Bear, "Don't leave him behind," and um, Jason Statham's like, "Well, we'll all die," so I'm closing this. <laughs> But they're trying yeah. so hard. Yeah. And literally, like, he detaches from the sub, and, like, five seconds later, sub fucking explodes. <laughs> as a lot of things Somehow. explode underwater in this movie. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> and, and that's it. And we cut to um, Shanghai five years later. Um, but I just remembered one thing I wanted to talk about before the movie. Um, a follow-up to last episode, vice versa. Uh -oh. Turns out, I, I said in that one... That I bet Brick could, even Brick could tell you, like, what would happen in that movie mm -hmm. if you gave him just the first act. Mm -hmm. He did. He, like, he was able to, for the most part. He got, you need to he told me, like, time. six things. Only one of them was wrong. He just guessed that Judge Reinhold would get back with his wife. Oh, okay. oh that's right. And that was guess. the only thing that was wrong. And I, I explained to him... Like that one was, I don't think I explained to him enough that the uh, the love interest for Judge Reinhold was portrayed in a positive light in gotcha. this in that movie. So he's like, oh, okay, then yeah, then that wouldn't happen. Well, plus, to be fair to him, if the, that was made in the nineties, it would have gotten yeah, yeah. nineties, <laughs> early two yeah. thousands, yeah. definitely would but, have happened. You know, he guessed pretty much the ending. He guessed the bad guys would get switched. He guessed that um, everything would end up happily ever after. You know, with uh, the the, everyone back in the right place. He guessed uh, the, a bunch of the school antics. He guessed the Judge Reinhold would confront the bullies um, as an adult. I mean, uh, well, Fred Savage in the adult body would. He guessed a lot of it. 
So yeah, did that he, movie was what's that? Did he guess the sitting cross-legged with Fred Savage's little ten-year-old nutsack touching the floorboards? Uh, he didn't talk about nutsacks. Okay, but he guessed the <laughs> the cross-legged <laughs> nude scene. Did he? <laughs> with Judge Reinhold's gavel just again, he didn't in there. He didn't mention the dicks, but <laughs> other than that, yeah. Okay, across from his oh. underage son. Mm. All right, so this uh, good good job, so, Rick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the movie was that formulaic. Yes. Next time they'll record it, so we can. Good do. job, mm -hmm. Rick. Bad job, whoever was involved with vice versa. What was the guy's name? Yeah. King Baggett. King Baggett. <laughs> King yeah. Baggett. That's right. Really holding that. But now, crown. getting back to the Meg. Mm -hmm. So what attacked the sub here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it looked question. Like, it would look like something invisible. Spook. Well, not, yeah, not only do we really not see it, but, like, we allude later to that uh, Jason Statham was right when, because right. no one believes him that a monster mm -hmm. attacked this thing. Okay, but, like... <laughs> Twas the Black Pearl. The, as we're about to get into, this monster is below a seabed it cannot pass on its own. Yeah, there's there's huge temperature restrictions. Something, something. Yeah. So, <laughs> and it I mean, wasn't the Meg. Yeah, <clears throat> and... That, I mean, that is, that's a very good point, because, like, yeah, there, there's no, there's, there's, there's just no a different sea monster. Yeah. I think it was a Bigfoot. So, underwater Bigfoot. Oh, that's you. It's underwater Bigfoot. I mainly mention this just to say. <laughs> the Loch Ness Monster. Um, editing tip number one, to bring this down from two hours, mm -hmm. we don't need any of the scene. Just no. say, you know, oh, he saved a bunch of people, but, uh, you know, claiming there was some kind of monster, he left a couple behind. He's it, gone and done. become a drunk and, in Thailand. Yeah, yeah. now he's he yeah. doesn't do his his thing he's really good at anymore, and there's people that don't trust him. And they abandon that plot line within 40 minutes. That's done. Mm -hmm. So yeah. why was it even there? Uh, because because we're following have, a formula. Yeah, in order to have the most tropey trope movie mm -hmm. ever troped, you gotta have all those tropes. But in the formula, though, that will be a through line through most of the movie, only resolved at the end of Act 2. Right, right, but this is not... So this isn't following a formula so much as they're just taking all the tropes and... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's... Like that's a cliche and also, bomb. Whereas yeah. other times when you have those tropes and you're following that formula, you're following maybe one and not all. Yeah. <laughs> this is just... Like, oh, that's that trope, on to the next. So, all right. So, we <laughs> we join, they say he's Morris, they say he's, he's Dwight Schrute. We join Dwight Schrute, yeah. um, you know, showing up at the Mano One research station. And um, it's supposed to be like, uh, it, it looks real shitty at the top, and then you get down to the bottom, and it's this high-tech research station for something. And uh, every animal in the world is, like, right outside the front window <laughs> when he comes down. Just they CGI, like, all the sea life there. And at least they explain. Yeah. I, I was going to say a plus to this movie is, like, uh, well, not every time, but several times when I had comments about mm -hmm. stuff like that, they do explain it. So it isn't just nonsense. I mean, yeah. It's still nonsense. I mean, the, answer, the explanations are nonsense. No, yeah, it's all... Like, all right, fine. At least there's yeah. an explanation. Ultimately, it's nonsense, but they're at least not going to be like, yeah, no, we all just hang out by our window yeah. every We all just think yeah. we're cool. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So... It'll also be important later that these whales hang out by them. Yeah. I did, so important. <laughs> so important. I did like the slight reference with the, the whales are, um, you know, there's Gracie and Lucy. So I was like, all right, Star Trek Four, you know, they're humpback whales. Um, mm -hmm. But then, That's like, that what's that? I missed that one. Mm -hmm. Then they go um, into, like, the control room for the science that's happening, and you meet just the team of expendable people. That You know, most of them don't even have actual names. They just have a nickname. Not enough of them are expended up by the Yeah, but that's yeah, the other weird thing. I'm yeah, like, because I'm like, oh, these people are dead. <laughs> that's um, the problem, especially now watching it when we, you mm -hmm. know, it came up and I was just like, yeah, what is, is this PG-13 or is this R? Because, like, with that many people, they should just be there mm -hmm. to be cannon fodder, but... So only a couple, 13, yeah, only so a couple yeah, you only get like two or three. So there's like, there's the man in charge of the station. For the life of me, I could not tell you what his name was until I looked it, I looked it up on IMDb. His name's Zhang, but I didn't know. And then there's this other guy, Mac, and then, like, I don't know what either of them do, but they're, um, you know, they're like Mac's the ones. The Fire Lord. 
Yeah, I guess. Oh, he, yeah. That he is the Fire Lord. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With his eyes too close together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Seemed unnecessary, but all right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Fire Lord close eyes. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, let's so, keep rolling. So Dwight the Fire Lord yeah. and Mr. You Zang me, here. But you're all laughing. Yeah. You meet uh you meet Su Yin, who's like the love interest in this movie. And you, you meet like uh you got DJ, the literally just the token black guy. Like for so a you, second you're like, I think he's not gonna be the token black guy. But he basically we, admits it. Then then he just well, comes right out with it later on. Oh yeah, especially like I, I was I had my fingers crossed because we got about halfway through this movie. And he didn't, like, you know, try and, like, rap or dance or anything yet. And I was like, maybe we'll avoid it. And then right about then, it mm -hmm. happened. And you have, um, well, you got Jax, who's uh, Ruby Rose. Uh, <laughs> Rob, Rob is visibly disgusted well, by this concept. We were having a discussion about this while watching mm -hmm. it, but it appears someone just poured oil on her head and then just <laughs> left it, I guess. I don't mm -hmm. even know. Like, it's, maybe they pulled strands of it out or something she matches the description of the goblins in the cimmerillion no <laughs> wizard people <laughs> <laughs> she's just got a jellyfish draped on her head she does oh uh, <laughs> well and then i don't know there there's i think that's basically everybody right but well, there's, because we'll, the wall we'll meet and there's the, the wall sub. Yeah, the oh, wall and Lauren his, yeah, and Toshi are on the sub. Toshi. We also have the, the doctor, but he's not important. Oh, Dr. Film. Keller, yeah. Well, I, I mean, he's not important, but in, they they think he's important. Yeah. Well, he's, he's important for, like, this first bit, yeah. and then he's just gone. Well, he's the one that told McGonagall that he was he was, didn't mm -hmm. follow the rules. And he was a coward. <laughs> he was a coward. Yeah. So the the movie does just enough science here, and I was okay with this. But their their basic premise is they're like, all right, Marion's Trench, deepest point in the world, but I bet it's deeper just because there's parts of it that have a layer of something that was like hydrogen sulfide or whatever that keeps warmer water trapped under colder water and sustains life down there. And we're just gonna send the sub through it and do some science. And I'm like, you know, you know what? Sure, Fine, we'll we'll do something. That one. It's we'll I'm okay with it. Well, I did question why they didn't, like, I don't know, try some kind of sonar to get through that first, so, or send a probe. So, literally kind. every scene in this movie, I'm going to be like, why aren't you using sonar? Mm. Yeah. Because it would have solved a lot of problems. Yeah. Makes sense. Because, yeah, my, because if you can't see what's down there, like, if this cloud is thick enough that's blocking sonar, how can you just radio through it? How are you going to control a robot? Well, also, yeah, if you can, if you can still detect vital signs through it, how can you not send some sort of radio signal? Through yeah, it? like well, not vital signs. Like the guy could tell when the door was open. There was like, there's yeah, yeah. You know, they had like full run of this thing, except the video feed. It's like, like oh, well, yeah, we can't contact them, but the Google Nest is still working. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what, motherfucker, just try texting. Huh. So. Again, 5G network. Yeah, yeah. And now at this I point in the movie, not working, but... I'm actively mad that I have to watch a fucking like big shark movie. Yeah. So I'm try I'm no. looking for things to to yell at, and I, I gotta say, so far it's doing pretty good. Because I'm like, there's the sub. I'm like, this is gonna be stupid, and the sub was actually, I thought it was pretty it was good. Contained. Yeah, yeah. I liked that. You know, you have that big spherical cockpit that looks like a strong, sturdy shape, and then you know, and then the rest of it's like a cylinder. And that it doesn't have windows, it has, like, TV screens. And I'm like, all right, you know what? Mm, pretty good. And they go through this, so they got the sub, it's called the Origin. It's got, like, a robot on the front of it. And it's going to go through this layer of mucus or whatever it is. Um, and, you know, it, it does. And it looks like fucking, like, Rapture down there. Like, you know, when you, when you first get there in Bioshock, and there's just, like, every animal... <laughs> and, you know, everything's right. making light and all that. And you're like, all right, whatever. It's full screensaver mode. Mm -hmm. And then they get attacked. Well, they deploy the rover, and then the rover gets its ass kicked by something. by something. And that was another weird thing with, like, the CGI or the 
we couldn't tell like what had happened to the rover. We yeah. were like, it's just like sitting there, and they're like, "Oh, something did that to the rover." And I'm like, Dude, "What? It's like it's yeah. too fucking dark." Yeah, it t- <laughs> something tipped it over. Like, yeah. it wasn't even tipped over. It was just chilling there. It's it like, might have been tipped over. I couldn't fucking tell you. Had the yeah. little light eyes, like little yeah, but Johnny Five know. eyes that were still in the right. Mm, spot. At this point, no, I'm applauding the movie's restraint because I'm like. You know what? Don't show your monster right away. Yeah. That's how you should do it. Uh, there's a reason for that, though. Yeah. And, um, you know, with stuff's getting bumped around, and I'm like, you know what? That's what they would see, because it's dark as hell down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like, okay. I did have a bit of an issue just because they some of the shots they use, they'll show, like, a, a wider shot from outside the sub. Mm-hmm. And it's like, if the thing was that fucking big and smacked into them, we would have seen it. But, mm-hmm. but you know, again... I understand what they're trying to do, so it's passable. Yep. So, bottom line, the origin sub gets attacked. It's stranded at the bottom. It's, it's 11,000, like 11 kilometers down, 11,000 meters down the bottom of the ocean. Um, and they're like, we need to do a rescue down there. They got 18 hours of oxygen left. Send the rescue rangers. Yeah, and they're like, no, um, we don't, need... Don't, don't do that. Yeah. No, it's not the crackhead ones, it's the good ones. Yeah. We need this guy, Jonas. <laughs> You know, we, uh, he's the only one that could do it. And then, like, Dr. Keller's like, oh, but he's an asshole. I don't know. He, he's a renegade. He, I made him turn in his He badge. saved my life <laughs> when I wanted him to kill all of us. Um, so, yeah, then, like, Mac and Zang are like, let's go to Thailand. That's where he is. Zang some lady boys. And, um, yeah, first, also, what's that? Just a quick thing. Sorry to interrupt here. But, uh, so, Dr. Keller, he was... The guy on the the sub. Yeah, I don't know what he was too, doing right? on the sub, yeah. but yeah. Was he part of the team or is he getting rescued? Wasn't he the he was, medical officer? Yeah, he was part yeah. of the, the, I think part of the sub that was getting rescued in I the believe. beginning. Yeah, but because it's weird, because then like, why would he be allowed to, uh, you know, uh, decide the if the, he was medically sound or not? Did Jason right. save him? Yeah, why would he be the one doing the exam? Conflict, yeah. of, conflict of interest. That definitely. doesn't really make sense. <laughs> And plus, if he was there for all that, wouldn't he be aware that something was happening mm-hmm. beyond this guy's control? But He's corrupt. He's a senator's brother, and he was doing cocaine. Somehow, answers all your they could have used here, but didn't. <laughs> did not. So all your again, place. movie, well done in their strain. So, now, like, we get an atrocious cover of Hey Mickey. Ugh. Rob um, loved it, though. Yeah, I did love it. Yeah. A song that I don't want to hear in English, let alone in, I'm guessing this was Thai, but, um... It had to be. I didn't think way, of that when they played it like, again. So Jason Statham <laughs> is the, he's the character that has been disgraced and resigned from the thing he's the best in the world at, mm. and has gone off to live somewhere. Um, and it's, it's literally, it's the scene you see in every movie. It's just like he's there. Some guy's like, hey, Dylan. you said you were going to fix my boat. And he's like, I'll do it tomorrow. And then he's like, I'm going to go upstairs. You drink too much. Yeah, I'm going to go upstairs and talk to the two people that want me to do the mission. And he straight up tells him, he's like, I'm going to listen to what you're going to say. And then I'm going to say no. And then you're going to go. But more importantly, he starts with the, I know you want me to do the thing, but I don't do that anymore. I'm retired. Mm-hmm. I'm but like it, every like fucking straight line mm-hmm. that you know as that, you know, overdone cliche, it's just right in there. Can we just have one movie where they show up and they're just like, hey, we need you to do the thing. And he's like, okay. Yeah. All right, Jay. That'd be cool. I've been, waiting, I've been waiting for this opportunity. Yeah, it would be nice, if, you know, like, uh, listen, I know you had a rough go and you retired. And it'd be like, Fuck, get me out of here. I'm mm. bored as shit. I owe these people a lot of money and or they are that, dangerous. Yeah. I have no idea how to fix a boat. <laughs> yeah. That guy is going to cut my leg off if feel I feel like don't that's something. Uh, they that would, would be nice. I feel like that's something that would happen in MacGruber. Mm-hmm. It would. I don't know the language they're speaking here. <laughs> I think yeah. I married this guy's goat all next time. Yeah. I might have married his daughter or, or goat. him. <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, I slept with both of them. So Just know. in case. Um. So now Jonas is like, all right, I'm coming. Let's let's go do this rescue. Um, and he finds out that it's his ex-wife, Lori, is the one on the pod. And you're like, of course it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who else would it be? And she's like, don't worry, I'll up the stakes and stab myself with a fucking <laughs> screwdriver. Yep. 
because they just now figured out that maybe they shouldn't be shining lights down here with unknown wildlife. Which, oh, God, that one also bugged me. Yeah. It took them so long to realize that and do anything about it. Mm-hmm. And again, you have sonar. Like, they picked up the shark on sonar the first time. Yeah. Like, why would you not be using that instead of the lights? Yeah. Um, cause you know, it would, that would actually make it easier for them to find you too. Mm-hmm. So. Or would this also be like equipped with like infrared and all kinds of like. Yeah. You would imagine different ways to see without yeah, producing your, light that would scare away Your main window is things. a U screen. You think you would have a lot of options for that? Yeah. 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 Plus, I mean, it would make the movie kind of moot, but like sharks really hate sonar too. Like it's why like the great whites run from dolphins and stuff. Um, cool. even though they're like more than capable of taking them on physically until they get up, gather together and peck them in the neck. Yeah. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, even like, even when one sub realizes, oh, we shouldn't use lights. Other people show up with lights all yeah. over and it's just annoying. So anyway, so now the origins leaking oxygen. So we get this, the stock scene where Jason Satham shows up and Dr. Keller's like, you're an asshole. You're not fit to do this. You got all those other people killed. You, know, you got space madness. You got space, yeah. <laughs> You're unhinged. You got space madness. Every time you put on the badge, people get hurt. <laughs> Seriously. You're a renegade. You play yeah. by your own rules, but you get results. And Hit your gun. <laughs> and again, like, we're supposed to believe that this guy is an expert. And he says that, like, and we're in international waters now, so I can beat the shit out of you and nothing will happen. And uh, everybody, sh- you know who it works in maritime things should know you are subject to the laws of the port you left until you arrive at another port. Like international waters doesn't get you around any legal things. Maritime bird law. Maritime bird law. Well, he did leave Thailand, so there's really no laws. Well, I mean, I guess in Thailand you are just allowed to <laughs> probably true. beat this shit out of someone. Um, but anyway. Listen, if I don't arm wrestle, my son's going to get kidnapped or something by a shark by a shark <laughs> killed by the shark mafia <laughs> yeah never, well, i'll never win that big rig for those that might get this also this whole thing that's going on with the the three people trapped in the sub at the mm. bottom here it was really making me just miss wish yeah miss peacemaker mm. it's very much like the group he's working with I just really want to see john mm. cena's dick i <laughs> do I, no, I don't. Gotta be saying, I wanted to see Toshi and the wall die. Because when they did the, the octopus, yeah, that the, was uh, the fighting octopus, I was like, you know what? They're in a they're in a tough situation and they need to relieve some stress. But So Toshi is mm-hmm. uh is hero from heroes. Mm-hmm. Right. And the wall is a wall. The wall is is a wall of flesh. And at this point, like, it's a good thing Jason Statham was coming, because I'm pretty sure at this point, the wall was, like, seeing the other two as, like, just giant drumsticks. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> one drumstick and one, like, sushi roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of them's a kebab. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm <laughs> going to need to eat you before we run out of oxygen, but I'm gonna. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> it you look, there. You look tender. <laughs> it's just bones in a mess and he's <laughs> shoveling in his face like i got hungry like you were down there for two hours yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we said we would be down there it's like yeah really quickly two whole hours we gave you a bag of beef jerky there's a box of sandwiches right behind you <laughs> <laughs> that was gone before the shark yeah. even attacked he's like good thing toshi gave me this letter to his wife <laughs> i even yeah. ate the cake bites Gave you enough supplies to last a week, but it was oh, all cake bites. I ate through that shit before we hit water. <laughs> Minions cake bites. I, why am I doing that? I so be. anyway, um, listen, we're allowed to poke fun at a guy that's slightly larger than us. <laughs> so maybe not. Well, even we we know what it takes to get to our size. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. One can only imagine what it takes to get there. A whole lot of pizza, what? pizza oh. salads, <laughs> <laughs> and cake bites, and cake bites, and blackberry cider, uh, blackberry cider. <laughs> so, um, instead of, instead of chewing bubble gum, chew bacon. Yeah. Right, Jason sorry. Statham gets in the other sub, Evolution, and he's he got the girl Mei Ying, Su Yin's daughter, Zhang's granddaughter, and she's like, "I'm the clever girl, uh, you know, the little girl that hears all the secrets." 
<laughs> she does actually sound just like that. Yeah, and Jason Statham's like, okay, good for you. How do I turn this on? She's like, of course I know how to do that. <laughs> Squeeze her boobs. Yeah, and then... But later she's confused by death. Mm-hmm. Kind of an odd combo. Either way, Jason Statham's just like, just fudge off. I gotta go save everyone. Just a quick side note, though. I had a mini freak out here, because... Mm-hmm. One point, she like leans over this chair or whatever, and like puts her feet up behind her, mm-hmm. and I couldn't quite tell what was going on. But her her shoes are lined with little lights because fucking everything in here yep. is covered in lights. But I just noticed uh, the uh, front window behind her. I see the you know two lights mm-hmm. or a row of lights come quickly up on the back, and I was just I thought they were about to be attacked. It took mm. me a while to realize it was just a reflection from the lights on her shoes, but yeah. I thought it was the shark. So Jason says something like, I gotta get down there real fast. For a moment there, I thought it was a more exciting move. <laughs> so I'm gonna just turn off life support <laughs> to make the engines go faster. That's how that works. Sure, why not? Um, also, at this point, Suyin has um, left in what they call a glider and is going down to try to tow the sub up. And Suyin gets there. It is just an A-wing fighter, right? Uh, yeah, with a little like spherical Jedi starfighter. It was more yeah. like the ones that they Obi Wan and Qui Gon had. Yeah, it's yeah. a Jedi yeah. starfighter. Star star yeah. Yeah. yeah, I liked the sphere cockpit that always kind of faces Underwater. up, sort of like a weeble wobble yeah, situation. The, the bongo. Yeah, that's mm. what I was thinking. Oh, like the bongo, the one in Naboo. Mm. Fine. That's a big bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and that's her review of this movie, folks. Yeah. <laughs> the planet call. <laughs> right. So, Suyin's under attack by some unseen force. And we're like, oh, okay, it's it's the Meg. And we're like, no, it's a giant fucking squid. Okay. Yeah, nice little fake out here. Yeah, so squid's like, I gotcha. I'm gonna squeeze you. And that's a double fake out. Yep. And the squid is the Meg's first victim. As we now see the full size of the Meg and dun, we dun, see dun. its low res textures uh, and not blending in with the the environment <laughs> at all. I hope I'd go that far, because the environment was just as fake as it, so it kind of was Fair enough. I suppose. Uh, so do you think the the Chinese text in the beginning of the movie was secretly telling us that the asylum was a producer on this? Yes. So honestly though, like like these the normal bad like mega shark kind of movies where the shark doesn't look like it's there at all. Yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that over this. Yeah, no, the- I fully agree. Because at least those are like mm. fun. Yeah, I probably yeah. would have had a better time if this was one of those things where it just cuts to her going like, oh, no, the shark's here. And it just cuts to like that, you know, stock footage of a shark that's mm-hmm. taken years ago, <laughs> clearly nowhere near anyone. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just Eating a, some chum. Oh, no. Oh, it's in the middle of solid blue, not even like yeah. not real water. It's yeah. Just like, because yeah. I was telling the friend, someone that we were like watching the Meg, and they're like, oh, is that like Sharknado? And I'm like, no, those movies like know they're bad. Yeah. This one is so, tried, to, I so guess, tried to be a, a, a good movie, and it was just bad on yeah. accident. No, well, I do have a question. I think it tried to be a kind of dumb monster movie, but. Right. Was your wife jealous that you're watching this today with us? Um, I know she's a big shark person. She's a big shark person. Oh. Um,. I don't know. She's had a busy week, so she probably just well, yeah, very I mean, low on her. To pay, on her to paying do. people for all the dogs that you killed. Yeah, I imagine that would be <laughs> Paying them under the table. Jesus. <laughs> but so, I don't know. I don't think it was good enough for, for that. I don't know. It's about money. I'm going to die, so. <laughs> the Meg looks like a lot of money was spent animating this thing. Unfortunately, And it was yes. not yeah. spent well. No. Um, so... The uh, one of the prime rules with the Meg in this movie is as long as you do the things that have been said attract it. It doesn't matter if it's about to eat prospective mm-hmm. food exactly. or is in the middle of a yeah. lunge at you or whatever. Like you just provide the right stimuli, it immediately gives up on whatever it's doing and goes to attack something else. Yeah, something with lights on. Even it, if it's something. got like momentum going, it'll just yeah. be like. Arr! Yeah, because it, it's coming. Breaks. Shark breaks, and this glider's fucked. Like the squid's dead. The squid fucked it up, and it's it's gonna go like it's coming right out. It's gonna bite it, and then the evolution sub is like way far away, shooting off its own light things, 
And the Meg's like, I gotta go see that. Oh, what? Never mind. Yeah. And then I don't even, does like, does Jason Statham just like juke it or something? I don't even know how he gets away from it. And it, pretty much, I guess, because I think he just, it's just he's firing off uh, just flares, shows shiny objects, and, and it just chases the flares, not him. Yeah. yeah, it's like I'm going to ignore this perfectly good meal I have here and go see if maybe that's a meal. Also, um, in no way being like Jurassic Park. Nope. Yeah, no, not at all. No, no, no. So Jason Statham's like, so you get the fuck out of here. And then he goes and, like, docks with the origin sub. He goes and he grabs his ex-wife. And, you know, he's like, I told you so. Told you there was a giant <laughs> shark. Hey, I know you guys are dying, but we got time for jokes, right? Yep. Hey! And then, like... Time to make you feel bad about yourself. And where they went wrong... It's not like we won't have enough time to save all of you, right? <laughs> yeah. Let me twist that screwdriver a little bit. All right, so here's where they went wrong. So step one, get the wounded, like, 125-pound woman. Fine. You got two guys down there. She's right up the ladder. Yeah. No problem. Step two is not get the 300-pound wall <laughs> into the sub. I mean... Like, the, the little Japanese guy goes next. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really a... I don't think it's protocol. It's really no. a fox, chicken, and bag of seeds kind of scenario <laughs> here. <laughs> also, I mean, I guess... <laughs> I guess the wall was just like, I'm bigger than you. And well, I think it's more of like a, well, we're going to need at least two people to pull this person. And maybe one to push. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, like, I, he can't get up on his own power. Oh, uh, that could be a thing. All right, so. Consider the pressure under any here. kind of ladders or anything? Uh, was rope? A, I mean, it no, was, it had a ladder. Yeah, it didn't help. He chewed through most of the rungs. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So he was down there a half hour. Don't so Toshi sees this, expect? sees the Meg is like, you make fun of fat people as much as this movie. It's mm -hmm. not. Yeah, it's fine. Right. So yeah. you see, <laughs> Toshi sees the Meg he's coming. Like, he's he's like, like, I'm easily fast enough to, to avoid this. But yeah. I'm going to complete the letter to my wife, shove it in the wall's pocket, shove him up the ladder, Dear close the hatch. Like, fucking, they they easily had enough time to just get out of there. But okay. regardless, <laughs> he's like, like they, I have to make the sacrifice. Yeah, I like to think he just went, I didn't know when to get out of Heroes in Time, but I know when to get out of this. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, and the sacrifice is him just screaming inside the inanimate object. <laughs> When the, turn all the lights on. Yeah. And then he explodes. Yeah. The, so the <laughs> the evolution sub pulls away. Toshi just screams at the Meg as it's coming head on, and the, the origin sub explodes. Now, did he boost from dodge or something? Yeah. This, this is the end of the film because the shark attacks. The the should be dead. The yeah. sub explodes and blows the shark into pieces, and then wow. it's yeah. over, right? At well, least destroys its jaws and renders. Well, we don't it ever know how feed. many megs there are. Yeah, technically, this there could true. be more than one. This could be true. I guess there could be multiple mm. megs flying up through this fart cloud because the ocean is. Producing. If this small sub explosion killed the meg. Mm -hmm. The big one at the beginning of the movie should have done it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Nuclear. So, um, as we do see later in the movie, though, Megs are explosion proof. Um, so, they go up to the surface, and immediately Suyi's like, Jonas, you fucked up. You killed Toshi. <laughs> How dare you? You did it again, you son of a bitch. I yeah. did not. Toshi wanted to die. <laughs> <laughs> he said so in his letter. It's literally true. Like... It's so moist. Wall, <laughs> take it out of your pocket. Uh, Why so, do like, all the like, all the ink is running. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she just shit on a paper. So <laughs> no, I'm um, sorry, no, but um, I'm, I'm getting derailed here. Fuck. Yeah, soon he's getting railed. She's getting no, you'd like her to. Point. I, I mean, had it. I don't know. Oh, all right. <laughs> you want me to move on, Tony? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So now, if you can. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Just the. I understand. There's going to be investigations of this kind of stuff, but like, they do realize the job this guy has, and that sometimes you need to make those hard decisions. Mm -hmm. So why are we acting like every time someone dies, it's totally his fault? It's all yeah. terrible. Also, you convey the authority for him to make those decisions right. to him. Yeah. He's paid. He's getting paid to make those decisions. So, guys. All right. 
Toshi died. Yep. He was it's the best sad. character. He really was. Gonna miss that Toshi. <clears throat> Justice for Toshi. Sweet, sweet Toshi. You guys aren't even trying anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, that O became a U real fast. That's what they said. It sounded like Tushy most of the time in the movie. Also, are you going to tag another Justice 4 on Jason Statham's head? Just mm. why? What? Fast and the Furious. Justice for Han. He killed Han. I've never. I've seen one Fast and Furious movie. No. Oh, which one? The. F- Tokyo Drift? No. I'd like to say they all kind of blur together, but they you've only seen one. Yeah. Maybe I've seen two. Okay. And I'm counting it as one. <laughs> I think it was the f- first one with Gal Gadot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They have like GPS things and they're. Yeah, I mean, it does, I, I I guess I should stop you because it doesn't really matter because I most of them I couldn't tell you anyway because once they started going from Fast and the Furious to Fast and the Furious and then Fast something and then like the naming fast structure five. is just I out of it, control. I think it was the Fast and the Furious. The, the ampersand, or Fast and Furious, one of those, fast where and it was Fierce just program. the name of the thing again, but without the, without the, the, the. yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like a, we're basically doing a Spider-Man reboot without actually rebooting anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, um, now this whole plot line about Jonas being, you know, you know, uh, a loose cannon and you know not able to do the job and unstable and whatnot. It's abandoned right now. Dr. Keller's just like, yeah, all right, there was a big-ass shark. I'm sorry. And um, <laughs> then, you know, there's friction between him and Suyi because she was, or Suyin, because she was yelling about him killing Toshi. And she immediately comes in and is like, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. And, and it's done. Now, I, I'm kind of, it's refreshing that a movie just resolves it like that, like they just be adults. But... um it's why why did we go through well, setting this whole thing up in the first place? Yeah, it's the I'm, I'm more forgiving on the one with the doctor, mm-hmm. although it, it's still a bit confusing because like so there's one giant shark, so that means years ago there was one, mm-hmm. I guess. But whatever, the, you know, I get that. Like I thought you were crazy. Oh, I was proven wrong. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. The thing with her being mad about Toshi, like we don't need that. It's it's the, yeah. the whole thing. Starts and ends in about five minutes. Like, it's just mm-hmm. a waste of time. And, and four of those minutes are a slow motion Jason Statham shower. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, well, that we needed. Mm, right. Yeah. That's so, what and then, was then we get for. the shot of uh, Su Yin checking him out through the, the giant porthole in his bedroom. <laughs> right. Which. Do all the so rooms have that? What? Yeah, what? <laughs> I mean, that definitely didn't happen in Pacific Rim, also. Mm hmm. So. <laughs> We we now cut to a meeting amongst the uh, what at this point I'm still believing to be the expendable cast members, and um, you're like, all right, it's a 75 foot megalodon, it could bite a whale in half, uh, all this stuff. Rain Wilson's like, all right, check it out, I'm gonna fuck this up. Let's just go back down there right now, not prepare for anything. He says it's the perfect killing machine, and Ruby Rose says it will be when it fits a woman. <laughs> So I will give this movie credit. At least no one was immediately like, "We need to make it a super soldier." Yeah. <laughs> well, no, what, that comes shark? after you capture it. Yeah. I mean, that will <laughs> uh, I, that I, comes in Meg Two the trench. Yeah, in Meg Two, I have no doubt that it's going, someone's going to be trying to weaponize one. Meg Two the trench, mm-hmm. Putin's revenge. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. So topical, <laughs> topical bitch. All right. So I best part of the movie: shark Roomba. Oh, um, yes. yes. I yeah. agree. Yes. Um, so, yeah, Roomba with a fin on it. Very simple. Considering doing that myself. Mad, I never thought of it. Um, Combine that with DJ Roomba. Yeah. DJ yeah. Shark. Yeah, the music and everything. Yeah, as long as yeah. it plays like the, it's got to play the Jaws yeah. theme, though, right? Most of the time. Only the Jaws theme and Aziz Ansari stand up. Okay. Or Aziz Ansari himself, because he's small enough to fit on top of that thing. Mm-hmm. He can just perform up there. He just be standing on it. <laughs> he's canceled. He he doesn't have anything else going on. Which there. is he really? Yeah. Like the show or him? No, I believe he tried to justify um, date raping someone or attempting oh. to or something like that. Well, yeah. What was his justification? Oh, well, I don't. Re- I don't. Remember. Speaking no, of topical, no, 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 take it no. to the It was something like that. I don't. I yeah. don't remember. It was. Oop. Yeah. He was like, no, it's cool to do some things that were clearly not cool to do. Mm. Ah. And he's trying to defend his actions. Ah. So, 
Back well, to the was medic. it like a better to ask forgiveness than permission sort of a thing? <laughs> <laughs> I want to say yes. I don't know for sure. Though. Okay, neither yeah. confirm nor yeah. deny. In this scenario, definitely not. Yeah. Well, so, but he is like the mouse in the motorcycle. So that's fun. Remember that. Wait, Wait he was the mouse. He's tiny. Put him on a little boat. Oh, he, yeah, his smallness. I get right. you. So we get the obligatory scene of <laughs> since it's an undersea awkward. base, it has to have the giant glass tunnels, okay. and you have to have the part where the shark is looking at the potential victim, little girl. Even though the shark would be drowning mm -hmm. by not moving. Well, just yeah. standing. Well, it was kind of moving. If it went from eleven thousand meters right. to a thousand meters, which is die. Well, yeah. So here's the His here's the thing, and, and I guess here's the ultimate thing. So the, this Meg has come up from this heat pocket. It's like where, it's pocket. like where King Kong hot is pocket. hanging out in yeah. Kong versus yeah. Godzilla. This hot pocket, yeah. So it's, a it's <laughs> a hot the water park version, shark flavored hot pocket. So, <laughs> so would it just die like immediately once it hit the cold ground? water? Cold or or. Does the drastic change in pressure turn it into a Super Saiyan? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Make it really angry. It. I'm it's, going with that. It's it's used to being in such high water pressure <laughs> that Finn, now it's super yeah, strong. Its fin goes yeah. yellow. Yeah. There's also yeah. There's also the issues of not only did the, the uh, difference in the the water pressure, but um, in the movie we haven't gotten to this yet. But it's basically farted out yeah, to that point. Yeah, it turns, so it that would have been like a fart cloud. Yeah, that would have been a drastic change yeah. very quickly. Yeah, it would have died almost immediately. That's a, I yeah, that's the thing. Because I'll abroad, but I'll buy the temperature thing because it's like it traveled with the pocket of warm water up to the surface. Yeah, but if no, it did it that quick, yeah, it's fucked. It would have the bends. The bends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can sharks get the bends, or because of cartilage and all that, maybe? I I've never, I've never looked into it. It, but I, um, they get I think the so. bends, but like, <laughs> but you're not a nictiologist. I think no. at that point you more have to worry about like like your blood and stuff like that. Like, yeah, I mean, my thought would be so it's obviously coming from a, a uh, an area where the conditions were similar to you know hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years ago, mm -hmm. to suddenly like it's like oh, shit, all this pollution. Yeah. Well, yeah, it probably get. It would probably get triple cancer aids and die immediately. Mm. But. Well, I could just eat a, a cake bite and get that as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they kill it. One of the cake bites. Banana. <laughs> <laughs> just dies. Well, I think the only way to taste this is if we need to go buy like a baby shark and try to yeah. give it the bins. <laughs> I, mean, I believe we, we're... I'm jumping ahead a little here, but when they try and poison the shark, I do believe... It's these cakes. <laughs> well, I mean, it was a similar color. It wasn't act actually no yeah, color. Yeah, similar color. color. You see the empty box. It's not. It's not explicitly shown. Yeah. But it's alluded to because you see the empty cake bite by the way, box. On by the way, the uh, lamp. cake bites brand. You are. You are on watch right now. Yeah. You are, you are on the fat chat shit list. <laughs> fat chat. What's worse than a foul? Fat Our, chat uh, felony. Fat yeah, chat <laughs> felony. Yeah. You're going to prison. Yeah. You know, it's not even you're... like you're getting ejected. You're going <laughs> You're going to fat prison. You, you have to be separated from society. <laughs> You've made some powerful enemies today. Yeah. Do not pass go. Do some not collect your Powerfully dollars. obese enemies. <laughs> we can catch you if if we can catch as you. As long as you're, you're not going running. to fat prison. <laughs> as long as you're not running. Yeah. Um, so, no, but, like, okay, with a, when you get a pet goldfish, you have to, like, <laughs> Put it in its own water. Yeah, in the Gotta tank acclimate. to acc yeah to acclimate <laughs> the water. Like this would this would just kill the shark. Yeah, probably. Yeah, its, it's gills would probably just explode. <laughs> yeah. So, either way, all right. The shark's here now. It bites the tunnel. Um, you know we have the the part like you see the girls like toys are on the ground, but she's not there. So they're like, oh no, did it get her? And it's like, what are you talking about? The water about? would be, I mean, the tunnel would be flooded. <laughs> like, yeah. No, it just it poked a little hole right through it oh, with a oh, straw right. and, and just sucked, sucked her, her up. up. Also, it's, before this, mm -hmm. no. we're, they're having this meeting and the, the Meg, you know, tries to bite at this girl or whatever. And the whole fucking station, everybody in the meeting and stuff, they're like, Wait, you hear that? And what girl, I don't remember her name, um, just goes, my daughter and starts yeah. running and it's like 
You, you thought that was your daughter? Do you think does your daughter spontaneously explode? Like <laughs> it, you either did not hear that mm. or the whole base shook. What maybe makes she you... was worried her daughter was like flipping switches somewhere and causing I, she's, she's done this one causing before. like okay. pod six to explode. <laughs> All right, fair. I'll My daughter <laughs> is a known asshole. <laughs> it's like it's like C Lab twenty twenty, like parts of the building are just blowing up. <laughs> oh. Um so all right, they're like they go, they find her, um, they see the teeth marks in the tunnel, they, and they're like, oh, there's Gracie and Lucy, okay, it's just them. And then <laughs> fucking the Meg just eats the two humpback whales right there. Yeah. And, I mean, that was a choice. Like, let's show some uh, some endangered animals and, uh, yeah, just have them get murdered right there. Sure, because it's PG-13, we can't kill people. Yeah. But animals well, are it's, fair it's, game. it's to shock the audience. Mm-hmm. Now again, there are real stakes. Yeah, it's also, again, it's to get the body count up, but mm-hmm. without actually showing human, human bodies. Deaths. Yeah. Human. Sure. It murdered those whales. I feel like the body count is pretty high well, because of the beach scene later. Yeah. The 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 kills come in very right. in like tight clusters. Yeah, and it's not like it's not good. It's mostly off screen. Oh yeah, but... you don't see like anything. Yeah. So now they that's where they come up with the theory about like how the shark escaped the uh, the hot pocket. Um, we talk about that for a little while, and they're like, oh, by the way, it's, it's out just killing boats because like any movie monster, it has infinite hunger. It's like right. I gotta, yeah. I gotta go kill everything. The ultimate killing machine. So it yep. just kills indiscriminately for no see more. The shark has developed what's known as kill rage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's also around here where I started to realize. Uh, well, we'll get into this more. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're trying to put a, a, a tracking beacon, dart, whatever, on yeah. the shark. So they feel the best way to do that is to send a lone person. Several miles, I'm well, guessing, out to the shark. So, so yeah, they get like a okay sized boat, but they know they're dealing with like a seventy, like a seventy five yeah. foot long shark. You should get a boat at least seventy five feet long. But ideally, yes. <laughs> but um, uh, you mean a bigger boat? Joe? A bigger boat, yeah. So, I like mean, maybe timing and resources, they couldn't do that. I, whatever. So okay, that's fine. They so they get this boat. They're out there. And, um, yeah, they're like, we got to tag this thing. Well, Rain Wilson's like, you know, haven't you seen Shark Week? Why don't you just put a tag on it? And put the barrels in. Yeah. They would just put like, a bird on it. Yeah. Put, put a bird on it. <laughs> I mean, normally they would like just make the shark eat the th- something with a tag in it or you something think. like that. Um, but you know, they, or they're going to shoot it with a, explosives. with a dart gun. And this is one thing where where Mythbusters found out that like the movie was like spot on correct more than that it had any right to be. But remember Deep Blue Sea, how they fire that spear gun that's um, supposed to like electrocute the shark at the end, set off the the bomb or something that they attach to it, mm-hmm. and they they fire it at like three hundred feet away, and it hits like the hero right through his hand, mm-hmm. right on the shark. You're like, damn, that's an impressive shot. But like when they were testing that that spear gun, the first shot they made did exactly that. It hit exactly where it was in the movie from mm-hmm. a, like a full football field away. So yeah. this hundred foot range on this gun is kind of bullshit. Like mm. those things can fire way further. Yeah, because it's going. I mean, it's going through water. Mm-hmm. So as long as it's got enough power behind it, like it'll. Yeah, if you can manage the the resistance of the water, yeah. like it'll just keep going and the fins above water and everything just put some chum yeah, out yeah. have it get a little closer yeah. and shoot it i mean all of this is bullshit anyway because we'll find out in you know just a little bit rain wilson can just call a fucking helicopter to come and yeah. do that yeah. shit machine guns and depth Plus, charges look, they were running low on chum because the wall kept eating it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but okay so. but so so we decide we're, we need to send somebody out there we need to get close enough to this thing uh Jesus. Uh, Fire. Fire star? What? Oh, yeah. No. She's looking, she's looking a little jiggly today. <laughs> Wiggling, jiggling. jiggling. Um, more jiggly than I anticipated. There's a lot of men in motion in this room. That's true. A lot of jiggling it's happening. It's a lot We're of jiggling vibrations. as well. Cake bites. A lot of while eating chum. Yeah. Um, uh, fuck. So, uh, we're, we need to... We're not... Basically, we're not far enough away from the shark where the shark wouldn't notice that boat. Mm-hmm. But we are... for. Quite a ways out to send one person to go alone, which I thought the idea at this point was because you're a small little person. He's not going to give a shit about yeah. you. But apparently these sharks 
all about eating every last morsel that comes near their face. Because <laughs> doesn't matter if you're, uh, you know, a giant boat, a giant whale, tiny human, or a teeny, teeny little dog. It wants to eat your ass, and it's yeah. chasing you down. Must be a millennial. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> wants to eat all that ass. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, they, they hit it with goals? the tag. So now they're like, all right, we got it tagged. We know where it is. Now let's put Suyin or Sunyan in the cage and have her uh, fucking poison it again. Sure. Why? What is happening? Yeah, I, and like you know when it's getting close, just shoot it from the boat. Yeah. But she's like, no, I gotta hit it in a vital spot. Why the fuck? Well, hold on. Before before I get to this, they put her in Nick. a cage, and um. Lo- like it's a it's a plastic cage, mm-hmm. uh, and they lower her down into the water, and the Meg shows up, and she's like, "All right, I'm going to shoot it in this weak point. I'm going for the eye. Why the fuck does this thing have a laser sight? It's a goddamn crossbow. It doesn't go exactly where the light is pointing. And you're like point blank range. Hey, Tony, <laughs> didn't even hit me. The matches are behind you. <laughs> the candles by Will. So, all right." Need some fresh balsam in here. So she shines, and then all right. Even if you need the laser sight and you're going for its eye, why would you still have the laser sight on when you're shining it in his eye? Well, also, like, Lots why the eye? You're supposed to it's boop the snoot. I mean, that is where you go if you're if a shark's going to attack you. But like, I understand that, but you could have like so. Sh- this thing is huge. Yeah. But its eyes are only going to be in front of you for just so long. Yeah. The gills, however, you can much bigger. fire it into the gills. You can fire it into its mouth. And this, is the po- <laughs> and this is the poison? Yeah. This is the poison, yeah. So, um... Two's better than nothing. All right, it, it goes and it, like, like, she shoots it and it, like grabs the cage and it's it's starting to eat the cage and then it's it like rips the crane off the board the boat and that knocks someone in the water that knocks jacks into the water and like th- it's just a metal beam hitting her like right in the stump like she's dead like yeah well also People all getting... of this was just driving me crazy because we see uh you know it starts mm-hmm. pulling on this thing, and it pulls it taut, and it catches on the side of the boat and even starts pulling the boat. Yeah. And people are just kind of, like, doing whatever. And no one seems to be concerned, because this crane could do what it does, which is finally snap and go flying. Yeah. And, yeah, it starts <laughs> knocking people around. And it's like, you know, I, I've never been on a boat like this, but mm-hmm. I saw, like, one or two episodes of that uh, Deadliest Catch, and I yeah. know how fucking dangerous that is. These motherfuckers should be well aware. Yeah. Also, in general, like, things of that structure, like, the boat will flip over before the crane will come off. Mm-hmm. But whatever. Um, Unless you set up originally that it's an old rickety boat, yeah. like in Jaws, where exactly. stuff looks like it's going to fall apart if you look at it funny. Yeah, where it's not a multi-billion dollar yeah. research station, it's well, Nantucket. <laughs> this is also where I, you know, I want to, uh, I also wanted to point out the, it's the, the shark starts pulling this boat on this thing, because that will be important in a moment. Mm-hmm. So now, um, what's her name? Suyin's, uh... She, like, the cage is sinking. She's out of air because, like, her, her hose got cut or something. The shark's poison. Jason Statham does his, like, five-second, like, get in a wetsuit and get scuba gear on. Like, mm-hmm. he um, he's he's, he skipped go. the montage entirely. He just, he was just equipped. It was like a video game, like, you just hit equip on plate mail and suddenly the armor's on you. <laughs> yeah. All right, me, this is why you shave your legs and balls. Mm. Get this suit on. <laughs> that would be great if it just super fast. <laughs> you just kind of saw him like go mm. over to the side of the boat and then like the menu popped up and click on the thing and he just kind of jumped and was in it. <laughs> oh, though that was, he went from shirtless Jason Statham action figure <laughs> to scuba Jason Statham action figure. Somebody squirt me with lotion. I've got this scuba gear on. <laughs> so he just jumps overboard, swims down there, saves the day, saves Suyin, the cage sinks. I do I do like that, like, the second her her tank runs out, mm-hmm. she's like, oh, well, I guess I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> just just collapses. <laughs> she was talking <laughs> moments before. <laughs> you think she'd have a fucking rebreather, like, you know, 
They they seem well equipped. Yeah. Uh, like, but she literally is like, you know, don't worry about me. I'm already lost holding up the thing saying she has 1% oxygen left. Yeah. And then just out. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like... The... <laughs> yeah, seriously. So... Um, now, Jax is overboard, <laughs> and you're like, all right, well, she's dead, because she's like girl number three in this movie. She's It's t- it's her time to go. Nope, they just she just gets back aboard. And then... Um, well, you know, what was it? Got to keep the talent. Sure. Um, all right. So friggin' uh, Dwight saves Jax and then, uh, what call it? Uh, so yeah, they get Suyin back. She, um, what call it? Uh, she passes out. <laughs> they, oh, that's it. The wall lassos the shark with a chain and, um, <laughs> like the, it gets stuck on the boat and it can't, now it can't drag the boat yeah. anywhere. That's and why it, it can't that. bite Jason Statham. It just what the fuck? comes to it. Now, okay, let's assume that the boat is of sufficient mass to stop the shark. You know, it's got engines going and all that. I'll buy all of that. Then the shark's neck would just snap right there at the velocity it was going. Mm-hmm. Like, I know sharks don't have much in the name of a neck, but, like, something would yeah. have to give there. Like, It would definitely not be good. I, I, yeah. The chain would, like, tear its gills up or, you know. Yeah, there would yeah. definitely be some, be some damage. Rip. <laughs> rip the jaw right off of his face. Mm-hmm. Possibly. So, I mean, later on in the movie, we're blowing whales apart. So, like, can we just have a little bit more, you know, something a little interesting happen to the shark other than it just swoons from the poison and <laughs> begins to sink? Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially, uh, as you just mentioned, it's swooning from the poison. The thing's about to die. Mm-hmm. At least make it a cool death. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, while you, you know, race with a chain around its neck, fucking head comes off. I mean... I'm not asking for like orca here with that that level of brutality, but like pretty, you know, something more than this. Yeah. So um, now we get a slow mo CPR scene of Jason Statham going mouth to mouth with Suyin while Doctor Keller uh, goes pumps. mouth to mouth with Jason. Statham. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Human centipede. <laughs> He's like, hold on, blow that in her. <laughs> um, so it's got a daisy chain right. going. Are you eating cake bites? <laughs> oh. oh, oh, fuck! That's where the cake bites went. What? I just put it all together. Oh, they're, okay. they're trying to kill the shark with the poison, right? Uh-huh. The poison looks the same color as those cake bites. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wife is trying to kill us. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. She wants this podcast to end. <laughs> she wants this room for her. And candles. no, she doesn't care if Rob dies. <laughs> no. I, well, I mean, the that's, 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 that's pretty, pretty important yeah. to the plan. <laughs> actually, yeah, that's probably the primary target. At that, at that point, she'll bring, collateral damage. she'll bring Matt in to help sort through all my crap and sell it. <laughs> and she'll retire happily. Yep. <laughs> so I feel like if we kill Rob, the rest will stop coming over. Yeah. And there we go. We're yeah. good. Yeah, we'll kill the come. queen. The rest of the bees <laughs> yeah, will right. go well. Don't we'll have, have to have a funeral. We'll Nobody have to come show see up his grave. <laughs> so now, um, Suyin wakes up. They go outside and they see the the Megs on board. And this is a big ass shark on board, and um, it's bleeding everywhere. And at this point, they think it would be funny to um, scare the wall and make him fall overboard. Mm-hmm. And he's just floating around in the water, and. You're like, oh, ha ha, you know, I know we just battled a giant ass shark in the water, but it's it's so funny that you're in there now. And, and I'm just like, there's still an hour left. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. I'm looking at the progress bar. And I'm like, <laughs> if the movie ended here, it still would have been bad, but it would have been better. It's tolerable. Well, yeah, at the very least, we could be like, it was only an hour. <laughs> but they're like, remember that part in Deep Blue Sea when the shark came out of nowhere and ate Samuel L. Jackson? Why don't we try to do something like that? Or that part in Jaws where they caught a shark and they said the mouth is not big enough to be the mm-hmm. shark that did the attack. Well, closer <laughs> to that one. Although speaking of the snake on a plane where the snake came like right. this, essentially. But also like, speaking of the Deep Blue Sea, there were a couple times, particularly around here, where uh, DJ was talking about something, and they did a weird zoom on him. Mm-hmm. And, like, I guess just because it's shitty special effects, I noticed yeah. how fake the background was, and I was just like... Oh, is he going to get the Samuel Jackson right now? Is mm-hmm. that what's happened? But no. It was the wall. No. So, the yeah, wall. a giant ass, like even bigger Meg, shoots out of the water, fucking eats the wall, just slams on the boat, belly flops <laughs> the whole boat, flips the fucking thing over. 
uh, Mr. Zhang here, Suyin's dad, gets hit with a fucking lifeboat. Um, <laughs> Dr. Keller and Jax get spilled overboard further away from the boat somehow. And uh, they're like, like Dr. Keller sees the, the shark coming from like way far away, sees the boat kind of far away. So I don't even want to put in the effort to swim that far. He's like, <laughs> he's like the alien in the fifth element in the beginning. He's like, I'm not going to, I'm just not going to do it. Jax, you go. I'll splash around here. Uh, and yeah, he gets eaten. And again, that shark should have breezed right past him and tried to attack that ship. Mm-hmm. Makes no sense. So yeah. Jax, again, is in the water twice now, does not die. And then DJ's just like, hey, you know how I've been a kind of restrained character that seems kind of, you know, relatively cool under pressure and seem, you know, a like fairly normal guy? No, I am the token black man. Yeah. And he just starts yelling. Well, and not doesn't just stop yelling. For a while. Yeah. Yelling about how he can't swim. Mm -hmm. And when Dwight is like, you can't swim, he then says, why? Because I'm black. <laughs> And to his credit, Dwight says, no, because you work in an underwater research station. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Uh. So after that, uh, what call they, they get the lifeboats. They, um, you know, throw fucking Zang in there and then, you know, everybody else. And they're, they're driving away on their, on the two lifeboats back to the station. And uh, the Meg's coming after him, and Dwight calls in some air support. And now here's where I'm like, okay, Shark's going to jump out of the water and fucking mm -hmm. eat the helicopter. That's what I thought, too. And that should not work. And no, it doesn't happen. And, like, they fire, like, a harpoon at it from the helicopter, and then they're just firing, like, an assault rifle at it. And, you know, it doesn't do anything, but the Meg's like, I don't want to be here anymore. Well, not so just I'm a harpoon, go. they tag it again. That's right, yeah, they tag it, and then they just start shooting an assault rifle. Yeah. And I like... You know, so Jax is like, you thought that was going to do anything? And he's like, it was short notice. That's all I could get. But that does mean that that guy has a man in a helicopter with an assault rifle ready to go. Mm, yep. So props to him for that, I guess. Well, props to him for that. But again, as I mentioned before, why didn't you do that the first time? Mm -hmm. Before yeah. you went out with a little boat and had a man swim like, a, you know, 200 yards yeah. out to this fucking thing. Call your guy and be like, hey, uh, just hit this thing with a shrink, you know, mm -hmm. let's get out of here. So, yeah, they um, what you call? They get back to the uh, the station. Uh, Zhang dies on the boat ride. It's supposed to be sad. You're like, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> You've yeah. been in two seasons. Or how you died exactly? Yeah, we get. I, I guess you got hit in the solar plexus with the lifeboat, but like I don't. <laughs> you got killed by a life raft. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I didn't follow that enough. So. Then you get the sad scene as Suyin tells little Mei Li about her grandpappy dying. Um, and then there's a scene where she's in a room and then Jason Statham walks in. And it looks like the part where they're going to have a kiss scene. And I had to piss and I'm like, I'm not pausing the movie. They did not so. have a kiss scene. <laughs> yeah. uh, they had a Jason Statham's like, let me see what my chances are here. And she's mm. like, my father just died. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like. I'll go check in with my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> you're close enough. I'm, no, like, I'm not wrong. It's it's it is you know the actual scene is uh, him like trying to comfort her and talking about how mm -hmm. he know he understands loss because of the people that died on that ship and how he, you know he's never fully gotten over or whatever and you know she's kind of just commiserating with him. The subtext to the whole thing mm -hmm. is just kind of a. I was really interested in, you know, making stuff happen here. And she responds with basically like, not now, but later. He's mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I'll get laid. And just, I know her father I just could, uh, died. Yeah. Like, just died. I could change and, into shirtless Jason like, Statham <laughs> if you need it. I yeah, forgot what she said at the end, but I, I said while we were watching this, like, I felt like there should have been subtitles that just came up and said, please try again later. <laughs> I was like, well, I saved her life twice. Uh, she kind of owes me. Uh, <laughs> no, that's how you get canceled. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, now um, Rain Wilson, he's like, oh, I'm the billionaire in this movie. Uh, this is the scene where I try to do something noble and kill this thing. You know, really only because I'm interested in uh, Heel turn. Not in lawsuits. Yeah. Um, my father, Paul Reiser, taught me all about this. Yeah, <laughs> I got to go get myself killed. Yeah. 
And, he, and they're like, all right, you can have fun with that. But I guess I won't see you later. I guess at least it's not like a, we need to figure out how to harness the power. Yeah, right. That's what I thought was going to happen. He still wants to kill it and stop it, but he just wants mm. to do it quietly. Mm-hmm. So we're going to throw C4. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's a quiet way. Outside of a helicopter. Yeah. I mean, that God knows what. It's better hey. than. <laughs> I mean, originally, he got gotten a bunch of hillbillies. He, they were going to go noodling for him. Yeah. <laughs> and doing it at night. Brilliant. Well, you know. Like you do. When the catfish are out. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Um, so, again, they're they're using the tracking dart system. But, like, sonar. Get a boat with sonar. It's, like, like it's, 100 feet long. Yeah, it's not, it like, it's not hiding from that. No. <laughs> you know. Um, so. And apparently anything that is splashing even remotely in the water will send it <laughs> charging straight at it. So well, yeah, it's not exactly stealth here. Tracking dart is good for tra- or following it for the long distance term. <laughs> Sonar is better for the short. Yeah, we'll we'll tell you, you know, where it is. Yes. Um. So now, like, they go and they blow up a whale mm-hmm. by throwing some bombs out of a helicopter. So that's three whales that have died in this fucking movie. Yeah. Um. Whale holocaust. Yep. Yet again, human actual like human blood or death. Or, do we see any? Nope. There's a whale hover. You watch it explode all over the man in the helicopter. Mm-hmm. Well, that's funny. Mm. And it's also PG thirteen. It's like, oh, it's fish chunks, and then you're like, oh wait, that's a mammal. Have you you ever seen the um the Oregon exploding whale that the, that news the, failed? Uh, the news, yeah, yeah, it's just <laughs> raining whale all over the town. <laughs> like it, it's cars and stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a mess. It just decimated that one car. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, all right. So now, like. They blow up a whale, and then Rain Wilson's in the boat instead of the helicopter for some reason. And he, like, him and his guys drive up to it now, thinking they've killed it. Again, Sonar he would tell you if it was, you know, if anything else huge was still in the area. Well, did and, they even explain why the tracking beacon didn't work? Yeah, and also the tracking dart should tell you that that wasn't it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So he's like... All right, you know, I guess I guess we got it. Let's uh let's go, you know, these guys are driving away. Oh no, no, that's what it was. They were like, go in there and get some teeth out of it. So one of his guys goes somewhere and <laughs> Mouth he's region? like, It doesn't have teeth. We killed a whale. <laughs> and he's like, Ah fuck, let's go. <laughs> and then uh they speed off and he just falls off the back of the boat. None of his guys check. Yep. And they just leave him. And he climbs on top of the dead whale. Again. And he's like, oh, I'm safe on this dead whale. Yeah. By the way, all your checks are not clearing. <laughs> yeah. And then the it's Meg just that. jaws close around him. Adios, Rain Wilson. So, um, what's even happening now? Oh, oh yes. Yeah, so we cut back to <laughs> the uh, back at Mana One research station. And Jonas is like, we're killing this fucking shark. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get on the evacuation ship, which is like a fucking cargo freighter thing that they should have been on first. Mm-hmm. And um, they they <laughs> figure out that the Meg's going to go attack some uh, a beach in China. And, um, you know, we got a plan. We're not going to tell you what the plan is yet. We're just going to go there and we'll do like a montage or something. Uh, and then it cuts to it's daybreak. We're, um, you know, at this really popular beach. And uh, we see there's a wedding going on on this big yacht, and this is little dog Pippin. Uh, and some of, some of the people nightmares. in the wedding uh, jump off the end of the boat and go swimming. And Pippin's like, "Screw you! I'm going in there too." All right. So before we go back to Pippin, though, fat chat court brief. Um, Everything with this kid is wrong. Okay. Well, that's that's where I'm going. <laughs> yes. All right. So this uh, rather husky uh, husky child here. Um, sumo-esque, we'll say. Sumo-esque. That I, I will not say that. Buddha-esque. I, I did, I did, Flotation device? He he has a reserve of buoyancy. <laughs> I will say that. <laughs> oh, he's, he's a, a husky child, yes. Yeah. So he has a popsicle, and he's like, <sighs> I'm going to take it in the water. Nope. No. Gross. No, even when I was a kid, I wouldn't even think of that. That's a foul. Yeah. yeah. Getting salt water on it. That's, that's right. 
And the ocean is yeah. licking it away for you. No, that's a, shit like that's that. a yellow card. You get the fuck out of the water, eat your popsicle, wait 45 minutes, go back in. Mm -hmm. Was it a popsicle or a lollipop? I couldn't quite It was a pick popsicle, up popsicle, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, like, all of this was just a nightmare to me. It's like, just like you're hot and you're at the beach, which I know for most mm -hmm. people enjoy that. It's not my favorite. But the no, beach is literally packed. That, like there's not even standing room. So that's the thing I don't get what everyone's talking about. Like, I'm going to go to, like, these this X famous beach somewhere, like, and I'm going to go lay on the beach with, like, a thousand other people or go swim in the water where literally everyone is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where it's just people soup. I'm like, wh why? What? What is... What is the appeal here? I mean, obviously, like, the sun hurts me very much like a vampire. <laughs> I'm, like, two steps below hurting a vampire. None of but, us are great with tanning here. But, like, like I just never got this. <clears throat> I mean, like, yeah. I mean, a, it depends, I guess. But, like, a popular beach with, that's going to have a bunch of people, not for me again, but whatever. But... I cannot stress how much you're like on top of other people at this mm -hmm. beach and in the water. Like, just oh no, fuck this. And then like people are on jet skis and stuff. I'm like, how is not everybody <laughs> <Yeah>. not dead? <laughs> and then you could hear the Meg is just going stealth, stealth, <laughs> stealth as it's swimming under everybody. And the thing's like a hundred feet. Long. I know. It's I know. Absolutely and ridiculous. It, like, there's no know. way the water was deep enough for that. Situation. No. Mm -hmm. It, the amount of water it would be displacing in and of itself mm -hmm. doing that. Um, so, all right, it's swimming around. It grabs, like, some of the pontoons that are out there. grabs their chains with its fins. And this it's, again. It's fuck this. Calls an anarchy. Just fuck <laughs> it. It's like a cartoon. It just grabs every last one and collects them all. Mm -hmm. That is not... It makes not a point work. to show the tracking device fall out of its yeah. skin, as I mean, that though again. that's been useful at all for this right. entire yeah. time. Yeah. So now, this is like, sure. to the shark, like, this is this is just heaven. There's food everywhere floating in the waters, tons of things to eat. You know, there's this nice group of chonky kids clustered together that it's going to go bite into. But fucking the, the, our heroes are on a boat, like, way to hell away, and they play some whale songs. He's like, oh, I got to get me that. Abandons his attack run and just breaks off and yeah. leaves. Stops mid-charge. Like, wouldn't it just continue forward, grab those in its mouth, and head Bingo. off to find out what that was? At least a couple of those lady mu ladies must have been on their period. Like you would, you would smell. I'm not saying that to be like funny or gross. I'm saying like he, like this, like he's got a large, warm cluster mm -hmm. that probably to him looks like probably one big thing. Mm, right, yeah. I mean, there's probably sense blood. People are driving jet skis through that sea of people as well. There's blood in that water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, and in these, blood or not, he's already deemed it a target and is headed to eat it. Right. So it doesn't need to have additional yeah. things of finding blood or like, whatever. Just fucking keep moving in that direction. We're, we're past the point where it's using its sense of smell. It's yeah. yeah. Like if they had explained, like, oh, maybe the water was too shallow. It was like having a hard time getting there yeah. or whatever, and then decided to turn around. That would be nope. one thing. No, they just play some whale in distress noises and. So, That's like, it. here's our plan. We have this giant fucking boat. But what we're going to do is we're going to deploy these two gliders to have a dog fight with the big-ass shark. Because, mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. yep. They each have one kind of mini torpedo. And um, uh, Suyin fires her hers, and it just blows up near the shark and doesn't really do anything. Gives him a little boo-boo. Yeah. And then um, Jason Statham's doesn't even work because, you know, it's... Uh, one of these movies, the so trope, of course yeah. it doesn't work. Cliche. Independence Day, yeah. Yeah. And there's like three news helicopters are flying over here, and they just crash into each other. <laughs> Which, <laughs> and no. then into the boat. Oh, and then yeah. into the boat. You're just like, come on. Um, so now Jonas is like, all right, I got this. I'm going to um, just – oh, that's what it's like. So Eaton's daughter falls into the water, and so she's like, all right, I, I know you're fighting a giant shark to death, but I got to go. I'm going to go <laughs> rescue everyone. So St Statham's like, I got this. I'm just going to fucking kamikaze this shark. Uh, and a piece of his... Um, we weren't his, sure what that was. Yeah, a, a piece of his glider is missing, I think, from where the Meg bit him. Maybe. Okay. So now it has a jagged edge. 
Okay. He's like, oh, yeah. I'm going to make this if thing If there's bleed. blood in the water, there'll be a feeding frenzy. Like, everyone friggin' knows. And, yeah, he just he just flies his thing along. It just gashes the shit out of the mag. Just, like, <laughs> cuts the whole side Yeah, of it. from, like, um, ejects. tip to tip. Yeah. I don't know that that was his plan. I think he was just... It, or, well, the feeding frenzy part. I mean, yeah. I think he was just trying to fuck it up. He's like, like I want to yeah. make this thing yeah, bleed. Yeah, like, yeah, I've got no weapons left, but I got a switchblade, and I'll use and that. I was, <laughs> well, it was not an interesting movie. I was praising this movie for its restraint. So then they're like, all right, well, fuck that. Jason Statham is hanging on this thing's nose as it jumps right. like right. 100 feet out of the water so he can stab it in the eye with a spear gun and then fall back into the water, which this, like, I don't even know how many tons, but probably at least a hundred ton object is slamming in the water next to him. <laughs> he's dead. He's just dead. But of course he's fine. Uh, Suyin, uh, oh yeah, so all the sharks show up and they're like nibbling on the bag and they eat it. Um, and then he's about to get eaten by a shark and Suyin rams it with her glider and saves him. We, uh, we go back. Everyone else is on the yacht that the wedding was on. Pippin the dog, which you thought got eaten. Turns out he survived. No one gives a shit. Um, we were making a joke that he was trying to swim to, like, defect to the United States. And he's like, no, don't take me back to China. <laughs> so he's going for Taiwan. Yeah. I got to go, go to my brother's funeral. He died trying to drag some fat ass around. <laughs> <laughs> <On a side. laughs> so the movie, for the Fuck end, the movie had too many tropes to choose from. Because they were like, is this the part where Suyin and... and uh, and Jonas kiss, and the, Jonas is like, "No, nah, I'm gonna go with the I need a vacation line." And they're like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> and they're like, Suyin, Jason Statham, and um, and Malin are like looking at each other and laughing, and uh, it pans out and like goes into the water, sinks down, and it just says Finn. Yeah. Mm. And then Doc Brown shows up and he says, <laughs> "You're not gonna believe this." <laughs> and then we get more of the Thai version of Mickey. It's not you, it's your Megs. <laughs> My name is Jonas. I'm carrying the wheel. I almost feel like that was more of a... What's the proper word? <laughs> Basically like that old like racist thing where uh, like when they had Denzel Washington in a movie with some good looking white woman, but they mm. wouldn't have them kiss at the end because of weird racist issues. You know, issues. I was kind of wondering about that myself. Like, is that more of a... Like I honestly don't know. Cultural like, is thing, that like maybe? a yeah. cultural thing in China where it's like maybe we shouldn't have? But why would they set that up at for the all, sequel? Because then? then they'll be married and they'll have I don't married know. sex. Well, because you uh, can, yeah, you well, can marriage kisses. Yeah, potentially a marriage thing or just a you can imagine them together because we know everybody wants to, but you shouldn't because that's wrong. Uh, so I mean, you can, you can jack it, off, but you can think about it. You can jack off about yeah. it at your house, but not in the movie <laughs> yes. theaters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll have to go to Amazon Japan where you can order a body pillow of each of them. <laughs> and be in the middle. And just push them together. Yeah. Have, have sex. <laughs> I'll be the Meg in the middle. Yeah. 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 Where my Meg cosplay. I'll be Pippin trying <laughs> yeah. to swim to safety. <laughs> um, we didn't even mention the creepiness the little girl trying to get her mom. Oh, that's right. We skipped that scene, but yeah. Fuck it. Whatever. Or the fact that the shark probably would never have heard whales before. It wouldn't even know what whale sounds mm. were. Mm. Well, no. wow, well but point. instincts he still definitely might, encountered two of them. <laughs> yeah, instincts still might kick in. I guess, but like, although you know, I, I know when the Meg just, was around, there weren't whales. There weren't whales. That's right. They were on land. They were still, yeah, yeah. They were still hippopotamus looking motherfuckers well, or whatever. Well, so anyway. I'll never know. So that's the Meg. Yeah, that was the Meg. That was the Meg. I... Schmeg. Tony. Oh, that's get me. your little phone out. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll start singing the lyrics to "My Name Is Jonas" by Weezer. I thought you were gonna sing Mickey. <laughs> sing what? Mickey. Sing Mickey. Oh yeah, I'll do that. Do Let me it. see if I can find the lyrics in Thai. All right. So on RottenTomatoes.com, critics gave this a score of forty-five percent. <laughs> Audience gave this a score of forty-two percent. Mm -hmm. That's about least, what I expect. Yeah. At the time of this recording. I'm a little surprised because usually the critics are harsher than the audiences. Mm. But I bet the critics were kind of refreshed that it didn't go down a lot of the disastrous paths yeah, that, that these movies sense. go down. Well, and they also had a just... Chinese gun to their head. Yeah, mm. that's true. It could be a lot of shills that chose simply not to review it. Mm -hmm. 
So well, no, looking you at you, Roger it, Ebert. You know, you know, score. Well, I'm saying there are a lot that didn't review it. Both they abstained did. rather than giving it an F. Yeah. Like uh, an Olympic oh, judge. Oh, see. Yeah. Or or like China and India with the humanitarian crisis going on. Ayo. Anyway, that's their thoughts and opinions. What about you and yours, uh, Rob? This movie's bad, and it's boring, and it's long. Uh, don't watch it. No reason to. It's, it's a poopy. It's a poopy film made for poopies by poopies with poopies in it. Um, Watch Jaws. Yeah. That's my recommendation. Or if you want a monster I movie, been. I guess, you can watch The Host, which is a Korean mm. monster movie, which is better. But Jaws. Watch Jaws. It's a classic. All right, Will. Yeah, pretty similar to Rob. Uh, it was really hard to keep my interest watching this two-hour-long thing. Um, it was just overall really cliched. You could... Like, I even I even called a couple things. Like, you guys, I think, had said you'd seen it before. And I was like, oh, there, there's going to be even an even bigger Meg sh- showing up. And lo and behold, that happened. Um, I'm kind of nostalgic towards Deep Blue Sea. So, like, if that's on TV... I'll fucking I'll fucking watch Deep Blue Sea. It's like at least fun, like I don't know, entertainingly bad, entertainingly not a great movie. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend this at all. My joke. So I'm automatically mad if I have to watch a shark movie that isn't Jaws <sighs> because I know it's it's either going you're faced with a tough choice when you're dealing with a shark of either you have to go full stupid. Which sometimes in a case of like Sharknado can work, but most of the time doesn't. Or the movie's just going to be boring. So they didn't go full stupid in this movie and they just made a boring movie. And um, like I, I knew it was going to suck. It did. It was there's just there's nothing really good to say about this movie. Um, like I, I applaud that it didn't go full stupid and do the things that made me mad. But then I'm I'm mad in that. It didn't do anything to stimulate me at all, so I was just sitting there like Bleh, for two hours. Yeah. And I think that's its greatest sin, being a boring movie for two hours. Well, you're also at the disadvantage that some of us saw it together, which mm-hmm. I think helped pass the time a lot. Because there was a lot to poke fun at. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but not like... I don't know. <clears throat> not, not enough, anywhere but, near like... But it would have been... Bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just I just don't have a lot to say about this. There's just nothing going on in this movie. Yeah. And, you know, shark movies aren't my jam. And just watch Jaws. And like Will said, I'd rather watch Deep Blue Sea than this. You know, either of those. I and I don't I like Deep Blue, Blue Sea. More. That movie makes me mad. <laughs> and I'd rather watch that than than this. All right. Yeah, it, I'm in agreement with all you guys. Um, yeah, it is. I almost do wish they went more full stupid. Mm-hmm. Cause it, or just better. Uh, those are the two paths, and they chose the middle, which is boring. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, this is, Deep Blue Sea is stupid all to hell, but at least there's, like, things happening. There's stuff to comment on, stuff to take in. Far too much of this is just a whole lot of nothing. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I appreciate what I think they were trying to do, or at least someone had the idea to try and do. But, like, maybe the book actually is more like this kind of send-up to these kind of old, mm-hmm. you know, the old monster movies. But this just never got there. It's a PG-13, which takes it down and just, I don't know, it just feels like there's too much politics and just made it boring, so fuck it. Also, as much as I hate, like, the stupid deaths that a lot of people get in these kinds of movies, like, you still gotta, you gotta kill some people. Like, fucking, they they killed maybe three of the Expendable cast members. You, you, You Like, nobody really gets a, what I'll call an on-screen death. I mean, yeah. We see them get eaten, but like it's literally just a shark coming up and they're in. Mm-hmm. Rain and Wilson, that's it. yeah. Well, other than Rain Wilson, he's the only one we see his hand. But yeah. even that. But there's no blood or anything. Yeah, you're not really seeing blood. It's just. Could, it's just lame. Could one of the expendable characters gotten crushed under the shark when it landed or something? Yeah, or right? Anything? That would have been, yeah, been something. Or yeah, one of those cranes comes down mm-hmm. and crushes somebody, or it, when what dad guy falls in the mm. thing instead of just that we see a boat kind of hit him and he dies like yeah how about maybe like you know the boat flips over the propeller's still on he goes chopping in that thing or something you know something. so everyone should take cover because rob has his phone out and it's got something on it and oh, nothing no. good ever comes of that well first i think maybe we should roll for the next movie okay 
Oh, yeah. We've got a little bit, just a tiny little smidge of housekeeping. But I think first we should get that roll. I believe it's Will's turn. Will? Oh, yeah. This was... Don't fuck this up. It's yeah, been a it's don't. been a rough stretch. Yeah. This die's been very mad. Oh. I'm gonna get the cake bites out of the way to not taint the roll. The uranium away from that. The cakes. Seventeen. That would be a good roll. Oh, hey now. <laughs> We're back in the eighties, boys. Oh yeah. 1989's UHF. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. We got... I'm actually going to see Weird Al in concert soon. Nice. I watched UHF not that long yeah, ago. Yeah, same. <laughs> and I enjoyed the hell out of it. Okay. So uh, I, I have to tip my hat too early, but yeah. Very, very nice. We're going to take a ride down to Spatula City. All right. So we do Great have theory. a little, <laughs> little, that was a real thing. <laughs> Sorry. You were just not born yet. Um, so we did get an email from our uh, Patreon post about the, the latest trailer trashers. Mm-hmm. Joe, you're not you're not there for that, but we mm-hmm. did we did the trailers for the Batman, mm-hmm. uh the new Jurassic movie. Mm-hmm. Dominion. Sure. Jurassic World Dominion. And uh Doctor Strange. And we talked about the Lord of the Rings show a little bit. Di- yeah, just briefly. We didn't watch the trailer for it, but we so ended up. One talking. out of four things I care about. Uh, so well, I care about one out of four of those things. Which one? The, the Doctor Strange. Oh, Doctor Strange. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, I don't give a damn about yeah, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, listen. <laughs> I, I knew I was like either Doctor Strange or possibly Lord of the Rings. That yeah. was my well, but every time we talk about Jurassic Park or Batman, I always say I don't give a damn about no, that's fair. either. Uh, so this is from Ricky, and he left a comment on our Patreon page. First of all, thank you for being a patron. Yeah, thank you, Ricky. We love you long, Tim. How's it going? Uh, so he <laughs> said, not based off this trailer, but there's another one I saw that has me excited for the Batman. He looks more brutal in it, and it's confirmed we won't get the stupid slow motion falling pearls. Yeah, that's cool. I also believe that the penguin won't be that high ranking yet in the criminal underworld. Mm. Yeah, we already talked about. I believe he's he's chasing the Batmobile on foot or something. Uh, Based on based on the Lego sets. Well, yeah, that was your theory based (laughs) on the Lego set chasing the Batmobile. Uh, He says Jurassic will be fun, but dumb fun. I disagree wholeheartedly on that. We can hope, but I, I it just looks like okay. If you can get a Jurassic Park trailer to make me angry, mm. you're doing a lot of work. You're doing mm. something wrong, like really wrong. I um, think you had to consult a focus group to actually figure that one out. Yeah, and it's funny because with the new Jurassic World stuff, the first stuff they put out had me more excited. The lo- the further we go on with it and the more like actual trailers we're getting, the less excited I'm getting. Well, like if they had kept it to... Um... Because there was that mini movie. Where, the short. Yeah, yeah, the mini movie. Yeah, that was awesome. Which I enjoyed a lot, and I was hoping that this would be more of that. But no, this has a, a Quetzalcoatlus taking down a du- dual prop cargo plane. <laughs> and you're not... A bird. Okay. Okay. Does it fly into okay. the propeller? Or like... No, it lands on the top, and it pecks the engines off. Like I'm glad I didn't see that. Yeah, story. that's <laughs> that's the thing. I'm like, I, I like... It's okay. Even I have my limits. Mm. Um. Anyway. He also goes the on dinosaurs to say, can't get you here. It's okay. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm surrounded by dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, Doctor Strange is a given because I'm not over Marvel yet. Uh, Raimi had mentioned it was the most horror a Marvel movie has been, but this doesn't reflect that. So maybe that changed, or the trail actually did a good job not spoiling things. So, well, I believe I, I said in that we are given at least hints at a major drop, and I said if they're if they're hinting or dropping that now, what are they hiding? So yeah, I you know. There yeah. could be a lot more to this. Oh, I'm sure. And I will say Doctor Strange has me cautiously optimistic. The majority of Phase 4, I'm just like, I don't care anymore. I don't mm. care about the new... Th- I don't want to see Natalie Portman as Thor. This mm. four foot six tiny little <laughs> spindly Natalie Portman. Mm. It just doesn't It doesn't excite me. That's fair. Um, for me, that I'm excited for that one because I have full faith in Taiko Atiti. That's my only, like... Mm. I guess, but it's Taika Waititi firmly in the reins of Disney. Like, well, um, 
what was the third what was the last thor ragnarok yeah, yeah. that was fun that was fun yeah. yeah but i'm just like i'm a I've little, already stated my issues with that <laughs> i'm a little concerned they the now they're gonna be like you make it more formulate or right, like, like give us more of the same kind right, of thing like it okay. has to hit these marks or whatever now see I, i'm more worried it's gonna go in the other way and they're just like yeah, you yours did so much better than the others, so just fucking go nuts. And he's gonna he's gonna make his own thing, which is either which is probably going to be a lot of fun, but so not a Marvel movie. Which is kind of how I you know I felt Ragnarok oh. was tipping that direction. But. Taika Waititi has never let me down yet, so I will still have faith in him. Yeah, I mean, I, no, it's, we can all be excited about. Different yeah, things. I just it's don't fine. have any interest yeah. in the premise. No, of it's movie, fine. I guess, and just in the premise of Phase Four in general, like yeah, Phase Four has not been the best. Don't phase. care about the Eternals. Don't care about Shang Chi. Don't mm-hmm. care about. I haven't seen those movies. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, they're not. It's not worth the effort. Um, it. I don't know. What was, are the other ones coming out? Uh, uh, I mean, I. I'm excited about Guards, Guardians of the Galaxy, but I know that's yeah. going to kind of be the last one. Or yeah, yeah. So yeah, and like, and you already know, uh, like Bautista's checked out, and mm-hmm. he's, so it's like, what are we, what are we doing? And then yeah, I don't well, know. He's not checked out. He just I don't want to be shirtless anymore. And he couldn't have just said, hey, can I wear a shirt? Like, that wasn't a thing. It's already established he has very sensitive nipples. <laughs> well, yes, we know that. <laughs> but no, like, this, but like, again, that, that's... As an actor, he's like, I don't want to have to be shirtless all the time. It's that's like, what he said. That's why he's leaving. But, you know, lots of things could happen. So. Yeah, everybody... How awesome would it be in the middle of a fight, though, that he was winning against some bad guy? The bad guy just tore his nipples off. <laughs> And then he just has to wear a shirt for the rest of the movie. Maybe that'll happen. Maybe if, that'll be like the opening scene. If <laughs> I'm remembering correctly, uh, at some point, Drax <clears throat> dies or something and is brought back to become full-on Drax the Destroyer, mm-hmm. where he has a new, more flamboyant costume. Oh, so boy. maybe we'll work that into the movie and oh, just boy. give him a shirt. Mm. Probably. Either way, it's going to be the last we see of them. So. Well, n- not necessarily. Again... At least the those last actors. the Guardian yeah. movie. That doesn't sure. mean they're gone. Yeah. Sure. But, um... I like, an Iron Man died, like, three movies ago. He still keeps showing up. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, yeah, I just... For me, like, after Endgame, just... Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Endgame was sort of a turning point for me. Not that it was even that bad of a movie, but just once time travel showed up, I just mm-hmm. stopped caring. And then it's been hard for me to get caring back. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. I didn't mind the time travel because it was it was as far as I was concerned it was self-contained just to tell that particular mm. story and I'm hope well I mean now it's like well now you have Doctor Strange so he's just going to do whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, also Loki and all that. But yeah, it's a it's, I guess but Loki It's a I, box that like once you open. Yeah. yeah. Loki is no longer an interesting character for me after That's, his show kind of like took all the interest out of see him. i mm. that the show i enjoyed i was yeah yeah i was into the show like that and, and scarlet witch scar um what you would call it wandavision. wandavision i really liked mm. those two like i i was more excited about seeing more of those shows than the movies yeah I, well you're getting a lot more shows with fucking i don't even uh she hulk is next and then, you guys are getting a lot more <laughs> well that's the thing like I think, I think the part i liked <laughs> least about the loki show was loki mm-hmm. that's fair um but yeah, that Loki. I mean, there's a ton of. Loki. I will say, I will also have the problem of uh, after Endgame, uh, everything you're saying was in a factor, but it's also just the general. We are now moving into the phase four. We're trying to introduce new characters, but like they're not even like for the comic fan. Well, I mean, maybe deep deep comic fans, but they're like characters that mm. were far lesser known. Yeah, and then. So far, they're not doing the best job of making them bigger characters and mm. making me they're care. They're not likable, is the thing. They're not making them likable. Yeah. Well, and Shang Chi, I think they did all right, but um, but also we seem to be drastically uh, headed towards that era of I don't know what you want to call it, but the the more of the space madness. Mm. Yeah, you know, it, it's kind of where Thor comes from, or uh, not Thor, Thanos came from. So I can't, you know, it's not exactly new, but. We're we're getting into the Xi'an Empire and like all that mm. kind of shit, and I, that's where I've started to check out. Yeah, but it's like okay, well, we're gonna get Fantastic Four, but we're not gonna have them interact with Captain America or Iron Man. 
mm. that we know of. So it's like, well, that that kind of mm. is deflated, and mm. who knows how long Spider Man's gonna hang around? So like Tom Holland's already talking about peacing out. Like, so, gentlemen, I have to poop. All right. Well, let's wrap this up, guys. We want to thank you so much for listening. <laughs> Join us next time for UHF. It's gonna be great. Uh, thank you again to our patrons. We love you, Long Tim. Uh, Joe's gotta poop. Bye. Adios. Bye. Good night, everybody. Following podcast may may contain spoilers. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's so funny. What's funny, (laughs) Tony? (laughs) Why (laughs) two seconds in? Story of my life, guys. You you were just as bad as not worse. I know. I'm I'm sorry. Well, he didn't even try last (laughs) time. He was was like language spoilers nudity. All right. Some of the dicks. Tony, another chance. Sorry. Will.